Welcome to Theology and Practice in the Modern World. My name is Dr. Joel Badal, and I'll be serving as your instructor for the next uh, a few weeks here. Uh, you are currently enrolled as a student, and you should know that this is a spiritual formation course uh, related maybe to the major that you are in, or uh, maybe it's an elective that um, you're hoping uh, to take. And so just want to cover uh, some baseline um, information for you as you uh, discover together. Um, as, as, a, as a group and then independently as you work on the course uh, content uh, each week. So when we're thinking about spiritual formation as a whole, we know that there's a broad uh, sweep of different subjects out there. And so we're going to spend much of our time on Christian education, looking at church history, theological studies, uh, and uh, probably end here on some leadership uh, theology as I would call it, um, what, is, what is God calling you to as a leader uh, being trained in uh, spiritual formation? And so the course description you should find on your course syllabus is simply an exploration of theological discourses. So we're gonna be evaluating how uh, throughout uh, the historical nature of the church, how we've approached spiritual formation. Really, uh, spiritual formation is Christian education, it's piety. How uh, would you look at your life in view of holiness? How would you consider your life in view of um, spiritual disciplines, those things such as meditation, reading, reading God's word, journaling, fasting, these are different subjects in spiritual formation, uh, or uh, in particular this course, we're looking at church attendance, we're looking at how do you see yourself engaged in the church through ministry, discipleship. So all these are cross pollinating with each other is the best way to describe this course. And so we're looking at those discourses, um, both seen at the university level and then uh, trying to bring this um, home as it sits with uh, in our own lives in the doctrine of the church ecclesiology. And so we'll look at how um, spiritual formation maybe has shifted and changed. Of course, it's a, it's a new uh, disciplined area as it emerged out of the Christian education movement uh, with uh, loving God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And that becomes the emphasis for spiritual formation. It's, it's a heart transformation and, and many verses such as Romans 12, other um, passages that are used for a disciplined life, a life of piety is, is considered uh, in these course of studies. But um, we will look at how things have changed over time and how people are approaching theology, how they're living out theology in the modern world, how People are opposed to truth, and so therefore, we'll consider postmodernity and, and the shifts uh, of, of worldviews within the uh, life of the Christian and also in the church. And so, uh, we'll look at these practices, how ancient practices fit within the modern context will be our desire for this course, and I hope it will be an encouragement to you. Just uh, touch on a brief of those subjects, uh, such as Christian education, history, theological studies, and leadership, as I've already uh, stated before. You can find my welcome sort of bio, contact information, email. Feel free to connect with me on the platform and through uh, the Exchange uh, Office 365 account or give me a call. Love to set up a, a time with you if you would like to do a conference call by video. I'm more than welcome to do that. Need to plan that ahead so we can work uh, toward a specific date. Uh, may God bless you as you study in this class, and hopefully uh, what I have to share with you over the course of eight weeks would be something that would encourage you and help you to see a little bit uh, bigger this concept of spiritual formation.